In this video, I'm going to show how you connect to the internet when you start out. As usual, I need to emphasize that this is a video game and not a real cybersecurity. I have had many requests for updated versions of my old guides, and the idea is to make some of those now that 0.8 is here. So let's start fresh and connect to a Wi Fi. Creating the desktop. And what you do, uh, so when you start up, you don't have internet, and we want to get internet, so you can click here, help, or uh, click on the manual here. Then we click on getting started, the first step, and here we will see a list of four commands. These are the four commands that are used to uh, uh, get access to a Wi-Fi, and they are used in the order that you see them here. So uh, to use them, we need to open a terminal, and the first one is Airman. So we type that, and if we just type it, it's going to uh, tell us um, which uh, interface we have. This is important uh, because it's used by the other commands, and it's also telling us that the uh, we have the name of the ship set here, but it's also telling us that the monitor mode is set to false, and we need to enable this. So the way you do that is you type airman start, and then the interface. So in this case, it's lawn. Lawn zero. And now you can see that the monitor mode has been set to true. This will now allow us to use uh, some of these. So, and the next one is IW list. If we just type it, it's going to tell us how you use it. So, uh, like, you, like you can see here, um, IW list lawn zero. And that will give us the BSSIDs as well as ESSIDs for the Wi Fi's in range. And those are the same that you see up here. Um, in the manual, you will see here that I'm going to use another manual. So if we go into terminal programs, network commands, and airplay. It will tell us that we um, should look for a a um, good network power. So that is the percentage you see here, and the higher the percentage, the faster. Um, well, yeah, it will also be faster, but you will it will require less acts. Um, uh, which are needed to get the password. So uh, in our case, we this is the the highest um, power, and therefore that's the one we're gonna pick. Um, it also recommends uh, some values for how many packages you need. So in this case, we probably should be fine with seven thousand packages. Um, but okay, let's continue. Uh, th this is some of the information that you need um, when figuring out how to use the next command, uh, which is airplay. And again, we can just run it and see the usage. So it's uh, going to be using the uh, BSSSD, and then you first put a B flag, and then you can copy pieces ID. You can use Control Shift C, copy in the terminal, then Control Shift B to paste. Um, the window has to be uh, selected for that to work. Then you uh, use the E flag, and then we copy the ESS ID, and we paste that in the same way. And then we start uh, the tool, and this is where the 
uh, stuff about power and packages comes in that I talked about. So uh, we are looking at the it says packages, but it means acts. So the um, uh, once this reaches like seven thousand, we should be fine. If you have very low power, you might need to um, have it run for longer. Uh, it says here like 20,000 acts, for example. You can, well, you can see down here, uh, when, it's, uh, when it has reached the number, you control C. If you stop it too early and you're not able to get the password, you can just start it again and have it run for longer. Um, until the password has been found. So we're at over half. Um, might be good enough to do it at 5,000. I don't remember, but let's get to 7,000 just to be safe. I think that's good enough. Um, so now you can see up here that the file has been created in the folder that we were in when we ran the tool. So if we just ls in here, we can see the file.cap. Now if we use the uh, last command in the list, here crack. And we can just run it and see uh, the usage. So you use the command and then the file.cap file that we generated. And you can see here now that it found the password. And then we can just copy the password, go up here, select the network, which was this one, put in the password, connect, and we have network access. So that's a quick guide for how you get access to the internet when you first start out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.